Hello guys, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, a game of thrones, where we are continuing our tale as House Baratheon, now as Lord Edwin of Dragonstone. Quite a different man to uh, Stannis in many ways, who is going to be looking at the state of these lands right now, and how now he has managed to take Macy's hook. And it's going to be looking here, Bronze Home, towards new lands and uh, new opportunities for him as ruler. He remains the only uh, Lord Paramount of uh, Faith of the Law. And uh, unlike the old gods who seem to be respected, the law is a, her a heretical faith. And this has put us in a lot of problems. But we did manage to get an ally. Uh, we have married into uh, the Riverlands, at least. So we are not alone. Though we are uh, recouping our armies at the moment. My son, Lord Edwin, can marry. Yes, but uh, I think we discovered that there's not many... Uh... Well, there is a Lord Paramount of the Westerlands we could get. This could be very helpful. And obviously, the, uh, through Joffrey, we, we have uh, some link with the Westlands here. Why oh, has Joffrey died? What's, what's happening here? No, oh, he's, he's still... Yeah, he's still here. 34 years old now. Still the heir to the Iron Throne. I think a Lannister would make a lot of sense here. Hmm. She seems much more... Uh, well, just balanced in general. Of course, they're a Westerman, but not everything could be perfect. <laughs> we could declare war on Black Stripe. Interesting. I don't have much intention on doing that, that's for sure. Could rats off John the Sweet. Sure, Lord Humphrey, and at once. Serve me well, my son. Serve me well. Yes, Lord Humphrey, my heir. But perhaps not the, uh, in truth, the greatest choice of an heir. Oh, it's like, uh, is this a, any, a major war? 7k, 7k. 9k? You're outnumbered? What on earth happened here? 29k? Well, already this alliance may be over. I don't think I could... Yeah, me and Lord Owen aren't going to be enough to turn the tides here. It'll give you 16k, but I'll honestly, by the time I get over there, I'll be surprised if your army's still standing. Let's find out. Oh, I should have raised them all on land. That's silly of me. I'm actually going to say no to those. It's going to take us a little even, even longer to raise them. A favour is a favour, my son. See, other than uh, Upfree, as I was saying, we, we have some other um, heirs who may be more suited that title. Right. 9k troops. Let's see if we can... Uh, let's not... Please don't take the water. Please stop taking the water, please. Thank you. He needs to be very smart and get his armies away. Give us time to at least arrive. Uh, my other son, Humphrey, also wants an alliance. Um, sure. That's his son, right? Yes. So, my player heir, Humphrey, wants an alliance. And then my other heirs is uh, Lord Roderick and Lord Edwin. Both have seen, who seem very capable rulers in their own rights. Whereas uh, Humphrey still needs to prove himself. 
Yeah, I wouldn't be sieging down. I think they're going to come for you. Yeah, we just don't have any chance here. This army alone is a 10k, is a 10k as well. Yeah, this is already over. Oof. I, I'm not going to make a huge difference in this war, I think. Yeah. By the time I arrive, it's basically already going to be over. Like we're going to return to Dragonstone already. I just don't, don't see a point in letting our troops die when we're already trying to recoup. Yeah, well... Did we also lose the Riverlands as an ally? Yep, because Edma died. So two alliances all both immediately gone. That is unfortunate. I still have Quentin, but... Okay, I can't get any alliance with my mother. Let us get a bit more murder scheme power, just in case. Roderick's still alive. Do Okay, if I take my armies down, I should have the claim on him. But now I have no allies to enforce that claim if I did want to go for Roderick's titles. We can get on the Lord Triple Bonzo. But actually, he doesn't have any allies either. Looks like Lord Roderick's allies have also died. Which must mean the Reach Lords have died. No, Willis is still alive. I thought they were allied through Willis. Was it through Lord Harren? No. Now I wonder what's happened to all his allies then. Interesting. Is it actually, is Willis has any of his children died? No. Oh, it was through, yes, it was through his mother. That's how the alliance happened. Okay. Hmm. So we're going to lose the Westerlands basically any second now. And only of our allies are our sons. Can we get any alliance through my youngest? I could get the Stormlands through my youngest. There, eh, it'll be incest, but hey, welcome to back, Renly. We love you, big man. Still called young. <laughs> okay. An alliance with Renly. And could we get an alliance through Quentin as well? Not a powerful one. Yeah. We'll keep Quentin around then. But it looks like... Have I lost Faerun? No, I still have Faerun. But giving him the Lord Paramountcy... So, we're doing this so when they have a child... So they have had a child, Godfrey. When he dies, Godfrey will take the throne. Through Shireen. I think I'm okay with this. I need to have a hook on Robert. Really? Unless I can modify my contract to give me sanctioned war declarations and then I don't give it any levy. Oh, that's a lot of levies. Would I give up six? Oh, my obligations have already been changed? Really? Ugh. Right, we have the bait. We have the uh, the base sets we want. Let's find secrets in King's Landing. Try and find some secrets on Robert. This dude must have secrets. He's Robert Baratheon, you know. Gonna be tripping over the secrets at this point. Yeah, I don't think Lady Dory is going to make a huge difference for you here. Your, your big problem is that was having no allies within your own lands. Yeah, not, like even Prince Joffrey was against you. There's no chance there. Oh, well, that's one house fallen. And the Lannisters are going to fall there.
But Joffrey will always have a claim on that title as well, so I'm sure Joff Joffrey will also again go for that title soon enough. Very good, Lord Esmond. Give me all your money. You want to be regent? Fuck off. You want to be the owner of House Baratheon Banner? Back off. I already hate Robert. I'll just hate Robert a bit more. Like, I think this uh, whole generation is going to be very, uh, very hated. He's lost the goodwill, or whatever goodwill that was that uh, Stannis had. Hmm. Very well. Yeah, I keep getting overwhelmed by stress. I could imprison him for fornicating. Let's try one. Let's try once more at least. This, he has to have a secret that I can use. Otherwise, I'm going to need to fight to get the crown authority down. Speaking of crown authority, should I raise mine? I think so. Should do me well. Let's get a new... Okay, we got anything new, but we can upgrade here. Yeah. Let's get a more percentage of taxes. You're in another war. I'm going to decline that. It's going to cost me prestige, but like, come on, brother. This dude's lost. Now he's in two separate uh, wars. A liberty war and a... Oh, it's for Joffrey's claim. Now I get it. So yeah, it's jo Joffrey is... Uh, even though he's not the head of it, it's for his claim. So Joffrey will be made the Lord of the Westerlands. And Robert has died. So Joffrey is now fighting a war... For the Lord Paramacy of the Westerlands while he is Lord of the Iron Throne. Well, then we can definitely go find some secrets in the Iron Throne. Because there's no way this prick doesn't have them. And if I can't find any, I'll... Mo I mean, I st should modify it anyway, right? I could steal an artifact from him. What artifact does he have? Oh, it's just a dynasty banner. Claim his title. <laughs> I... Do not have fifty one percent of his title, but that's funny. Um let's modify the contract. Okay, so it's I can't change it until I die. Right. That's a bit annoying. Yeah, I don't see this they're, they're not taking Castle of Rock this this war's kind of just forever by the looks of it. And you yeah, you become allied to the Iron Throne as they are your nephew. A new inspiration for some armor. Hey, oh, he's decent. Oh, I'll take some decent armor. Uh, full plate. I mean, I'm a great fighter. I could definitely do with some armor. That would be uh, most wonderful. A, a nice minus 345. How wonderful. What oh, a nice guy. Just loves us, you know. Oh, I thought it was going to be Ford out of the Riverlands. That would have been funny. Though they are very weak right now. Oh, because they're also in a civil war. Who currently owns... It's Lord Titus. Who is... A severely injured spindly boy. But, you know, he's the rightful heir. I don't think I'd go for Anasane's title there. She may be meme over, but... Her claim is weak. The only thing that would be is that I, it would mean that I would get, try once again, it means that I would get a claim, or no, I would inherit the uh, Riverwood, or Blackwood on her death, which I guess that's cool, but it's going to be a very weird title, like a the title of the Lord Paramount of the Crown Buds and Blackwood. <laughs> you, although, you know, maybe I could extend it out and like be the, the, the neck and hook. 
I'm selling myself on this idea right now. The neck and hook. <laughs> and maybe when I own all of the Riverlands anyway, you know, it could be helpful. Fine, you can have another 50. Just know I don't have a lot of money left. Lots of civil wars going on right now. I still can't attack you just because of that stupid need of a claim. I might join, is there a, yeah, I might join that faction. Even though Roderick's also in that faction with me, so it'll be very awkward that I'm doing this so I can go to war with Roderick. But, we'll keep an eye on that, see if we can get enough members. A grand, Joffrey is holding a grand tournament. I will not attend, I don't give a shit about Joffrey. This dude's a bastard as far as I'm concerned. Hmm. Lately it feels as I'm constantly being distracted by le uh, levacious thoughts and erotic fantasies. With all my hardships of everyday life, it's getting too easy to lose myself a daydream to forget reality. So I can become recluse- Oh, no, I'm already reclusive. So I can hide in my tower. Or... I convert to Baylorism. Is Baylorism even alive at this point? Or is it being worshipped? Oh, is it just these tiny little spindly ones? Yeah. Oh, no, it's only being worshipped in Hornbridge. <laughs> and just beneath it, Visenya's heel. I mean, it's... The difference is that it's not hated. But for now, I, I believe we'll stick with the Lord of Fire. Yeah, I'm just constantly gaining stress because people... Why? Why have all the things that people ask me for a royal visit? You're afraid to go anywhere. Yeah, my sister's afraid to go anywhere because she's going to get dropped. Yeah, but it's your fault for marrying into them. No, I'm going to continue the feud. But I fucking hate these guys. <laughs> ah, damn it. So every, how on earth does Joffrey Baratheon, of all people, not have secrets? If I just fabricate a hook on him. And then we'll, we'll move you to, from disrupt to support. Okay, nobody's in my Liberty faction yet, at least. So I'm, I'm still pretty strong there. The betrothed can marry. Can I maybe break the, the betrothal? Yeah. I just, you know, let's just not do that. <laughs> you kind of suck. So it's my daughter Silver, right? Well, who was it that was going to be married in that case? And that was Edwin. And then they, they were the only alliance. Could get on with the Tarleys. How strong are the Tarleys at this point? They're like 6k. They're, I mean, the Tarleys are always going to be decently strong. <laughs> Samwell's called Cricket Legs. 25 Browers, though. The actual beast. The Tarleys seem like the best option, actually. Even if it'll be a couple years until they can be wed. Excellent. Are you in a civil war? It is 1,000 versus 4,000. And I can't help you in this, I assume. Oh, some powerful pa uh, plate armor. Well, at least your brother's helping you, but that seems like it's not going to be enough. Yeah, I wish there was a way of, of being able to join this war. Okay, wait. I can ask Lord Macy to surrender, right? Or am I not able to? Okay, who's it against? It's, it's against Lord Macy, right? So, there's a liberty war here. Oh, you're not my vassal, so I wouldn't be able to ask you. Oh, that's annoying. 
uh, either for your direct title. Yeah, it's your claim for Macy's hook. Can I just like oh, they'll abandon the fabricated claim? Is there another way I could maybe kill you? What if I goad you? And I failed. Fuck. Just being a constant recluse now. Let's put on this armor though. A mighty armor for a mighty king. Or Lord Paramount, totally not a king. We totally but never go against Joffrey. Even if he is a bastard born of ill blood. Um, no. We won't need this inspiration. You know, there's a lot to be considered in, in this matter, you know. If if truly he is a b bastard born of ill blood, then he is no Baratheon. And if he's no Baratheon, I should be next in line. You know, as Stannis would have been the true heir in this matter. For all these children seem bastards to me. Look at them. Illegitimate bastards. But there's no son amongst them. And no true born son as Tommen has died too. Did Tommen have a son? Yeah, this little Joffrey. Still, I would appear the strongest claimant. Especially if I could get somebody to back me. We'll have to give it some thought. For going for the Iron Throne would be a... A risky gamble, especially if he soon to have the Westerlands on him, as it would appear, based on that war score, it's most likely he will. We shall see. We shall certainly see. You get designated guardian for Alessane Baratheon. I shall be your guardian. I shall teach you all you need to know. Step one. Stop trusting people. They all suck. And they lie. And they're like really mean. They hate me. Just because I support the law. Oh my. my stop dying. I'm so rude of you. It's awkward how all my vassals hate me. <laughs> I hate you so much, Arthur Martell. I will kill you. Oh, she's pregnant. Damn it. <laughs> Just as I thought I had a chance. You see, they can't join a faction anyway because it's my children. It's genius, really. It's only... Okay, it's only us now. I mean, imagine deciding we're going to host a grand tournament, not at King's Landing. We're going to host it in the middle of a war-torn Westerlands. Just, why are they not sieging Castle Rock? Just siege Castle Rock. It's the only way you're going to win. And so they didn't siege Castle Rock. And that war lasted forever. War Paramount Kirby. Was apparently going in and outside over and over again there. Oh, now Dawn's in the bloody civil war. What's this one for? That's just a liberty war. So many wars. Yeah, everybody loves me, so. You are now my acclaimed knight. Yeah, you'll need a successor. Still no ally. Still no chance to push that claim. Come on. Let me change my contract. Come on. That'd be so cool. I just need to get a hook on him. It's basically our only way. 
Edwin can be my uh, spy master. I trust Edwin. Okay, now the culture is actually uh, uh, coming along now. We may actually eventually get rid of the Valyrian culture in Dragonstone. And then pigs will fly. <laughs> Incredible. Um, let's build a bit in a high tide. We haven't built in high tide in a little while. We've sort of been neglecting it a little bit. Let's get some hunting grounds built. And we do. We still have this claim, right? Yes, we do. Could be useful to push it. I can't. Wait, I can't declare any war now because of this fucking crown authority. Oh, I am actually going to need to get the contract changed then. Fuck. How dare you raise crown authority in this manner, you little prick. And they won't even accept an alliance or give me any artifacts. This dude's evil, as far as I'm concerned. Ugh. If I'm right, I can't switch you off and manage domain. Damn, we're in a very awkward situation here. Do I need to increase the control anywhere? Oh yeah, all these Macy's hook lands need a bit of control too. Oh, is he actually winning this these battles now? Well, he won the first war, and now he's going to win the second. Well, he turned this thing on its head. Was, you've surprised me, my boy. Lord Roderick, my brother. What a beast. Younger brother turning into an absolute chad. God, this war's still going on. The never-ending war by the Westerlands. What do people think of Joffrey? His, his son is Prince Tommen. Who loves his dad. Let's see, Stormlands loves him. Dawn's okay with him. What the current Westerlands loves him because even though they're about to be taken over by him, it's because they're all terrified of him. Fuck! And he learned about my scheme. Yeah, literally everyone in, is terrified of him except for the North, who just actually love him. Oh, I've inherited this little island and a bunch of stuff. Let's grant Berryport now to. Must options. This is my. Uh, I do have an unlanded son. Lord Quentin is unlanded. So he shall be given this title. Hmm. Nah, you're not meeting any peers. Nobody nobody likes us anyway. Nobody be, is our, if we're our friends, even if we go fucking meet them as peers. Well, at least they're finally sieging Castle Rock. This might be over. It only took them the entire war to realise. Boss, you know they're just hiding in Castle Rock. They have been this whole bloody time. What if we just, like, kill them? Hmm. Favour of a lady. Why do I have multiple favours of a lady? Let's just destroy the other ones. There's a bit of gold. And that one's now fixed. Right, we got you a successor. So there you go. Yeah, he says he should have this one, right? Yes, I suppose ally he will. Yeah, to get these ruffians out of here. And now Lord Sander is having one in Golden Tooth. Everybody's having eye tournaments nowadays. Spend, spending all of his money on this tournament too, by the looks of it, bloody hell. Well, House Lannister looks like it's basically only going to survive through House Lannisport. Or, you know, the cadet branch, Lannister of Lannisport, I suppose is more accurate. Let's see, in Driftmark, let's get some a workshop piece. Let's 
very annoying we can't do any expansion right now because of this this rule oh now you're very sickly are you you're ill you bastard of a bastard can I I don't want to go with him I oh, see this just destroy favor of a lady we don't need it And now you, you, oh dear. Well, Paramount Kirby now has the, uh, he's superstitious and he has the seven pointed scar. Apparently, makes him a better fighter, though. Archbishop or not, she will learn manners. Yeah, I'm not the kind of man you want to piss off at the moment. Let's put it that way. My wife's pregnant once more. This this war is still going on. And then my scheme's been forced to end. Oh, this bastard, he keeps getting in my way. And that's what he is. He's a bloody bastard. Yeah, my child is impatient. So many buttons now. New successor for the voice of law. And they need a worthy successor. I'm not able to seek one out though. It's just annoying. King Joffrey has imprisoned my rival. Well, he's making her hate her even despite the intimidation. Who's Dala? I don't I don't care about Dala. I don't know who she is. <laughs> Seems like people are slightly less threatened of him now. Although Lord Selden being threatened doesn't matter because he's losing. Vale is still threatened, and the Stormlands are loyal to him just because they're they're allies anyway. So the Stormlands is nothing to fear. You just love him anyway. What's up, Willis? Why, 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 why this this love affair with Joffrey? Hmm? Why you love the dude? You should hate him. I mean, I know you hate me. Everyone seems to hate me. A grand tournament. How are you affording a grand tournament? Kind of respect it, I miss, you know. Uh, let's go with... Lena. Lena sounds like a nice name. Oh, you died. Okay, we'll have to make you a new Castilian then. Bald! I've been told how to fix this uh, this ball problem, but I've decided for this save, I'm just going to keep it, because it's kind of funny. <laughs> 14 men left for House Lannister, and they're still fighting this war. They gave up on sieging Castle. Oh, my God. They deserve this. What's this? Are they now in a different war? Where's this other army come from? Why is House Dondarrion fighting? Oh, they're fighting in the Liberty War. Oh, this is getting extra confusing now. That war's got too many sides of me to understand it. And my captains have qualified for the fucking Grand Tournament that I don't care about. Good on them, though. You know, gets, gets them uh, more trusted. This Lord Kirby seems like a real sort of weak man if he's oh we've unlocked private army if he's decided to be it's gonna go for it. just have a seven pointed scar on his forehead they keep marrying into the blackwoods though blackwoods just always keeping some form of power can't blame them smart idea 
And then what little army is left of the Westerlands is about to be crushed. Lord Sandor might join the war. For... I don't think it matters if Lord Sandor joins at this point. I think that war might be done. Mm -hmm. Let's get the fine secrets efficiency up and let's try and find another secret. Betrothed can marry. I think they did marry, so we, we have an alliance with the Talis at the least. Oh, thank you. More, more feudal taxes. Yes, please. So, is he fighting a second war over this Macy's Hook title? That, that's, wow. So, the Lord of Macy's Hook died, and now his son immediately is going for the claim again. That doesn't seem fair on him. It's not really giving him a chance here. It's just war of the war of the war of the fucking Macy's Hook. Tell you what. They become an independent statue title. I'll fucking kill them. <laughs> I'll get rid of the fucking Macy's. They're nothing but an annoying uh, dolt on my family. God, all of our knights are dying and being replaced now. How many knights do we have? 15 out of 24. Ah! I've failed to find any secrets his courtly map says. However... Why why would I care about a hook on her? I <sighs> Yes, I wanted you to go to Joffrey's court to get a claim on someone who isn't him. You're absolutely incredible. Yeah, so now she's lost a opinion of me three times for that same thing. Ugh. Oh dear. A new captain has arrived. Is he good? I'm enjoying this duck at my feast when I suddenly feel my throat swell and my limbs growing slow. I have been murdered. Impossible. Alright, let's flip a switch here because all of a sudden I have access to all of these lands and titles. Let us get a new council. Can I get a loyal spy master? I can. Alright, let's get these armies united back up. I'm, I'm going to end this feud. I have greater matters in this stupid feud. Why only 3,000? Oh, it's because I'm over limit. I assume. Let's grant Crab's return. Do I should have a son, right? Right. Take these titles. I'm a martial ruler. I shall take a martial perk. get a hook on Lord Harlan. There we go. I should catch him before they actually finish the siege. Gives us a chance in uh, this war. For my... Uh... So who... who? This would be uh, my uncle's title now. And I've married into the Tullys. So I assume she's come of age then. My wife. Yes, she's just come of age. So now the Tullys are my allies. Perfect. Uh, I don't need money. I'll happily just take the prestige there. Yes, we'll do that. Why do we keep regaining favor of a lady? I mean, hey, it gives me gold when I destroy it, so. Mm. 
need to invite captains again. I can change my son's contract. I don't have much attention on that. Catch him. Yes. Right, let's win ours quick so we can help them in their battle. Though it looks like they may win... I was going to say, they may win those because of army quality. But it looks like it's quite balanced, so let's quickly join that battle. Turn the tide there. Get the rest of our army raised, now that we're no longer over limit. And let's go siege down Macy's hook. Yes, I'll take a hedge knight. I mean, I've been literally looking for knights, so I'd be foolish to turn down a hedge knight at this point. Seems he knows how to wheel a blade. He's a tactician too. I mean, so he is average. I don't need a terrible knight. <laughs> At least lights into good. I'll recruit you because you seem decent. Okay, there are no secrets in Joffrey's court then, but I could get the the contract modified now at least. Can modify the contract. I'll do that after this war though. I'm gonna leave this army here to siege while I go kill these bastards. That's techni technically my brother then, right? Oh no, sister. Or ha half-sister? Oh, I assume, yeah, because she's not my mother. Joy Joy's the second mother. So she's just my mother-in-law. I'm going to keep following them because that war should be done any second now. Let's catch him one more time. Been able to keep my uncle in power here. Yes, once again, another Baratheon murdered. I think if I was a, a smart man, and I am a smart man, there's only one option I can think of to keep this from happening again. Right, you have 100% go end the war. Because I am or am I the war leader? No, I'm not. It's my uh, course of war leader. My wife is already pregnant. Wonderful. Right. Disband our armies. And with this being the almost end of the session. Oh, you know, we'll say this is the end of the episode. I have a proposition. I had a stronger claim as my father. So, even with my father dead, I still hold the claim. But seeing how many Baratheons are dying due to being assassinated and the struggles we've had, I believe I should rejoin the faith. Rejoin the faith of the Seven. But, use it to get a claim on the Iron Throne. Because he is a bastard, but I am a true-born Baratheon. It may give Renly a claim too, but if I could prove he's a bastard, good things would come for me. But I believe I would possibly start that by fighting the Greyjoys. If I, maybe not just with the Rivlins, I may need another ally, but if I can get a Baratheon in charge of here through Ferran, I get Ferran and then Ferran's son, his title. There'll be another Baratheon in charge of the Iron Islands. And a close relative of mine that I could also use as an ally against the Iron Throne. I think that's our strongest play, as it stands. Oh, another Valyrian sword. <laughs> I now have a second Valyrian sword as well. Bloody hell. Uh, we'll face out the book. Well... If you guys have a smarter plan for what to do, let me know. 
But I think our greatest chance here is by rejoining the faith and using the faith to launch an attack. It's a shame we didn't get much time with it, Edwin, but unfortunately in this game it does it's hostile faiths just don't survive. This this is the problem we're having with um uh House Baratheon is just we just die constantly because people are gonna constantly be trying to assassinate us. So our only chance here is to move on from the faith. I think it truly is our only our only hope. So with that said, guys, I hope you've enjoyed. Please do let me know if you have, well, your thoughts on the series in a, as a whole. Uh, I've enjoyed making it. Uh, yeah, I will we'll see you guys in the next episode. Where we're, now we're playing as a completely new ruler once more. As we play as Lord Humphrey. With that said, thank you guys so much. Until next time.